What is going on everyone, Tins here and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be discussing all the characters are experienced so far in Marvel Rivals. Now we're into the beta now, a few days into it and it's absolutely awesome, I'm loving playing it and uh, just can't wait to see how this game uh, develops and uh, so far we've got these new characters coming in, we've just had Thor and Jeff drop yesterday, it's just the, the amount of work they're doing on the game is just brilliant to see even in beta stage. We are very lucky today, we are going to be joined by a content creator for the game, the good friend of mine, Here, and then some that people think they're a bit harder than down there is the seat of the tears. Before we jump into it, please do consider smashing that subscribe button and uh, giving the video a like. For much more Pokemon Unite, Marvel Rivals, Star Wars Hunters, I'm posting all sorts of stuff. And uh, yeah, if you're enjoying those games, please do consider following the journey. And please don't forget to make time. Got a Marvel Rivals tier list here today. We've got Tano with us. So uh gonna bring all his expertise. How many matches have we managed <laughs> to play so far, mate, in Nerf Rivals? Well, to be fair, I played the Alpha for like every single day I was on for the Alpha, mate. I've played quite a bit of the beta so far. I've tried out a lot of the patches, the bus, the nerfs, just to see how they're feeling at the moment. So I feel like I'm in a decent position for this tier list. Um I haven't played Thor or Jeff yet though. They're the only two I haven't played. Oh, mate, I'll see I've I've been working hard. I got, got a good few games of Thor in yesterday, and he feels really, really strong, mate. Honestly, um, yeah. What, 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 I, what, what character? <laughs> I, yeah, I have heard he's a very strong tank. But I've seen the moves that Jeff does, and Jeff, like their ultimate, looks freaking amazing. Just pulls everybody in, like, and you end up as a shark. You eat everybody in the area, and then you can spit out your allies or spit out the enemy in any direction that you want. And it's like. What? <laughs> it's completely yeah, bizarre as an ultimate, but I freaking love it, mate. That is awesome. Such a cool idea. I was just thinking with that, like, imagine if you took a whole team to the edge of the map and just went, bye. Yeah, you literally <laughs> could. If they, it? It, it literally could work, mate. If they didn't have any flying characters, they had no Iron Man or Storm or whatever, and you've eaten the entire team, take them to the edge of the map and just spit them <laughs> off the edge of the map. Get and you've taken out the entire team, mate. And you know what? I'm going to do a video on Jeff, and I'm going to do that. <laughs> yes, mate. If you do that, like, honestly, you'd be like the most legendary <laughs> rivals player ever. Every every top team would want to pick you up. Like. <laughs> I'm so down. Number one, Jeff. Um, <laughs> but I guess let's make a start on this tier list. So I, from what I've played, I am going to very comfortably put Magneto. So we'll start with the tanks. I think that's probably a good place to start. Yeah. I'm going to put Magneto into A tier. Yeah because the buffs that Magneto has been given, he can now put the shield onto himself as well as his teammates. So he's good at blocking the damage. The shield, the big shield he can put up in front of him, he can do that a lot more frequently. Um, he is a slow rate of fire, but he does hit like a truck and his ultimate charges a lot quicker than it used to do now. So you can still one shot squishies, um, but it just charges a lot quicker. So I don't think it's quite the premier tank in the, the beta at the moment, but it's a very, very solid pick at eight. Yeah, mate, that's a, that's a good shout. I haven't actually got a chance to play much Magneto yet, but you know, I'll go with your view there <laughs> on that one. I guess for the second uh, character, we can go into Thor here. Like, I've had a chance to play it, mate. It's, I mean, every time you use an ability, you get a nice little shield on there. Um, Ooh. You can do the classic, you know, swing the hammer and fly through the air. Oh, mate, honestly, it's so iconic and it's just so much fun to play. As it stands, I've, obviously, it's not been out. It's been like one day. Yeah. I think for now, I could be wrong, but I'm going to stick it in the B tier for now. Okay, just, interesting. It is really strong, and with decent support, you know, you're just in that front line, just popping off like any tank is. But at this time, it's very difficult to say whether it's going to land in S or D, so it's very safe, I think, to put him in that mid-range right now. Feels strong, but obviously not been out long enough to make a really strong judgment there. I think that's a really good decision, mate, uh, while we're waiting to see how well it uh, evolves as a character. I think next I'm going to move on to Penny Parker and I think this is probably going to be our first S tier character here from the get-go. There is two tanks currently in this game that are the best tanks to be running and uh, especially together. Penny Parker is one of them. They were pretty weak in the alpha. They weren't that great. They were very 
situational, but now they've made some fantastic changes to Penny. So the healing that she gets off the little uh, nest of spiders that she can put down, as well as the, the cannon that she fires repeatedly. Think of D.Va from Overwatch, right? But being able to stun people with your web, almost like Pikachu on Pokemon Unite, and just constantly dropping damage. So as if you are going to pick a tank in any comp, Penny Parker is one of the ones that you'll go for. Yeah, but I did actually get a chance yesterday to play a little bit of Penny Parker, and because I, I heard your recommendation and I was watching your stream, and uh, no, honestly, it feels good, Mark. Like, I played it immediately, like you were saying, and it just felt like, oh, this is outclassed so much by things like Gru. What was the other really good tank yet? Doctor Strange. Uh, yeah. We'll move on to those later on, but yeah, like you're saying, the Penny feels really strong after those buffs. Yeah, she really does. Definitely an S tier tank. Um, but I mean, you did mention Groot and Doctor Strange. They were the S tier tanks of the Alpha. And I think what's quite interesting at the moment is, is that they've had uh, kind of like, not so much reworks, but slight nerfs to the point. Or maybe it's more the fact that the other tanks have had better buffs. So Groot at the moment, definitely not S tier anymore. You do see a lot of it, but they've changed the way that the walls come up for Groot. So you can't use them as often or they're easier to destroy. Um, I mean, we saw the Alpha, right? Whenever you went anywhere in the Alpha, it was just constant Groot walls. Like, in, in any map. <laughs> yeah, for sure, mate. That was really disruptive. Like you could just stack walls on walls, and you can't even get to the objective. So it's like, how can you beat that? <laughs> you know, it's one of the, it was like the S tier pick where if you don't have it on your team, you're probably gonna lose the match. You know, like it's not, it was that detrimental. But it gets you locked out of the objective. But yeah, so where would where would you say Groot goes moving on to the next one? I, to be honest, I put Groot to B. Mm, yeah. mm, I'm, I'm torn. <laughs> I'm even torn between C. I think we'll leave it in B just because it's still a decent tank. It can't quite a bit of damage its ultimate isn't that bad um and you know it does pair up with rocket recruit quite well but i just think you'd be better off taking a lot of other tanks over it i do like that it's an easy tank for anybody to get their hands on and give a go at it's very much a one star kind of tank so i think because of that and how easy people can pick it up i'm gonna put it in, in b for me okay mate. yeah that's, that seems fair like it's dropped down quite a bit some people may disagree like it's only dropped down just a little bit but I think B is a fair place to put it, so, sort of while we're still figuring out at the early stages of this beta where things will land. Like, yeah, this might look completely different from us by the end of the week, but for now, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So exactly. Mate. Should we go for Doctor Strange next then? Just start, starting off on a sort of a tank. We seem to be doing all the tanks first, so I might as well carry on. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent, mate. I I feel the same way with Doctor Strange. It was pivotal in the alpha everybody was doing the tactic with putting up the portal and doing the flanks you don't really see much of that in the beta at the moment or at least i haven't i've played ranked on the console and on pc and i haven't really seen people doing that tactic anymore with dr strange i have seen a few of them and i think dr strange can tank a lot of damage and his ultimate is also pretty good if he can hit everybody in the area um it's defo not s tier though i don't think it's s tier for me personally since i'm i'm thinking possibly a tier with magneto up there yeah i think i agree with you there tano um I played a lot of Doctor Strange, I will admit, in the Alpha. I really enjoyed playing it. Uh, now, now Thor's here, mate. I can't see me playing too much of uh, Doctor <laughs> Strange. But uh, saying what, what you said there about not seeing that uh, strategy being used, I did actually see that yesterday where in my games. They Ooh. spawned every player behind us. But, you know that map where you have to push the objective into the... Yeah. They spawned everyone behind us right at the end <laughs> there. And honestly, mate, I was like, where am I being hit from? I turned around to see a Doctor <laughs> Strange portal behind me. So I think for that reason, they that sort of a game changer because i did not expect that at all <laughs> so yeah i think it's got to be an a tier still just the ability to do that like a game a game changing moment yeah i completely agree mate um let's move on to venom now oh, i think that's, mate, <laughs> that's an easy one that <laughs> right I, i'm with you mate i i genuinely think venom is the only other s tier tank currently in the game with penny parker and if you put them together oh boy do you have a tank offense on you there Somebody that knows how to play Venom and play Venom well is un indestructible. You cannot kill them. It's freaking crazy. It's annoying as hell, isn't it? I've, I've played against a few Venoms now. I, I had the uh, Punisher shotgun on one the other day. And, <laughs> mate, I just, it was doing nothing. I was like tickling. I was like, oh, what's this? <laughs> yeah. It, it just takes so much damage and then it freaking heals, man. Like, you get yeah. it down to one HP and then all of a sudden it's like 1,000 HP out of fucking nowhere. It's like, Jesus Christ, what can you do to take this thing down? Um, but you, Pair it with Penny, and it's just you can't get through. You cannot get through that front line. Um, and it, yeah, it, S tier without a doubt. Yeah, I completely agree with that, mate. I've, I've came up against some really good Venom players so far, and you, <laughs> you just you just don't want to be playing the match, do you? They're just in your face constantly. You can't get out the spawn. <laughs> paired with like paired with a really good support as well, which we'll move on to shortly. 
I think. Mate. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm with you, mate. All right, so we've oh. got just one tank left on the list. Bruce Banner. Yeah, I, so. I, I sure. don't. Uh, still I don't know what to do, mate. I'm str- yeah. Uh, it, it, Hulk is still struggling in the beta. Um, it has a really great team up with Iron Man when you when Hulk as uh, is in with Iron Man and they get that whole gamma burst team up. Iron Man does a lot of damage. It, it makes Iron Man even better than he already is, which is just stupid, um, especially in like low elos. But I, I think the Hulk themselves are pretty not that great as a tank. You you kind of just KO it easy enough. I mean, yeah. it does have three stages, right? It's got Bruce Banner, which is just pointless. It's almost like a Diva outside of a mech, like <laughs> except you don't you don't do anywhere near as much damage as Diva. Um, the Hulk is you know decent, but then you go Mega Hulk, and you've got that move where you just smash Loki around, like you know you do in the in the in the films. I but I think even even with the three stages, though, mate, I just I don't think it's that much of a threat. I think I don't really worry about the Hulk that much, which is stupid it's the hulk you should be worried about the hulk <laughs> yeah i mean it's got to that stage right where you, you see a hulk in your face you're just ignoring it because you've got things like venom things like all these backliners <laughs> like you were just saying that iron man in the distance doing so much damage to you from from range now like we'll move on to him in a minute but i think he's definitely rose up a few tiers since the alpha <laughs> <laughs> i think mate, it's gonna sad to say but i think mr banner's gotta be a c tier maybe even below I... I, well, the, the, I'm with you, mate. The only reason I'm not going to put it in detail is because of the team up with Iron Man, personally. Yeah. I think because of that, it does enable Iron Man a lot better. So I'm going to put Hulk into C tier. That is, I mean, it might be that we've not seen that many people cooking on it. I've played it. I can't really cook on it that much. I just think there's more threats in the game than Hulk. Um, maybe someone's going to correct us wrong when we post this video. And maybe. fair dues, you know, let us, let us know how you play it and how it is really good or whatever. But in our opinion... Yeah, nah, it, it ain't. Hulk ain't hit. Hulk ain't hit. It was tickling between D and C, but yeah, like you said, it's got the team up save it. It's good to see we're not a single tank in the D tier so far, though, Tommy. Yeah, I must say, Marvel Rivals have done a fantastic job of making the tanks fun to play, at least. Yeah. I think it's still tough because there's no roll queue, and if you do come up against two tanks, it can be really tough to deal with if you're the only tank. But at the very least, they've made them fun to play. I'm not a tank player, chat, right? I, I'm a DPS player. I play support on Overwatch, but I enjoy playing some of these tanks, and they've done a great job at that. Yeah, mate, I'm with you on that. You know me, I'm a jungler, but <laughs> on this game, <laughs> on this game, I love playing the tanks. I'm always picking a tank up, like, over anything else. So, yeah. But like Tana was saying there, obviously, people can correct us in the chat if you're an absolute monster on Bruce Banner. Give, <laughs> give us a shout and uh, just tell us we have to learn it and play it properly. But <laughs> All right, moving on. What Should we do? go for supports next, Tana? Like supports, mate. Kick us off. All right, so I'm going to start us off with an easy S to Tano. You probably, mm-hmm. you might agree with me, you might not, but Luna Snow. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Insane. Really, really strong still. I've been playing a lot of Luna Snow when we team top two tanks on there just feels so so incredibly good still that old has been you've got that that area of effect you can either go for the attack style or the healing style you, your, your teammates with two tanks in the front line mate it's scary popping off that healing just doing so much work mm. and you could do a decent amount of damage as well like especially when you hit that the uh, ability and you're just like firing off like slapping ice shards at people it's like <laughs> it's so fun to play as well when you're <laughs> <laughs> and you're skating around the map as well, like at speed. That's another great thing, like the mobility of Luna, getting from A to B, especially if you go down, you know, getting across the map. Really, really handy. Yeah. So. Now you say it, mate. I, I, I always thought Luna Snow was A, but now that you now that you do explain the ultimate, for example, if you go for the healing, like nobody can get KOs when you are ultimate in that area. So Luna Snow's ult saves people from really devastating what's coming at them. Yeah does a lot of damage i agree with you mate i think there's one healer in this game that just does insane healing and will always be s tier unless they nerf them but i think luna snow is up there with them really great healing really great damage that so do you know what Tins? i agree with you i think an s tier uh support if you got if you're not going to have the core one that i'm thinking about luna snow is definitely a very good ultimate yeah there's, there's so many good supports in this game like like we were saying earlier it's so difficult to judge where these characters are going at the moment because the balancing has been really good <laughs> Like it's difficult to put someone down in C or D tier because the like we're saying balancing from the dev team has been so so good so far. But right, we've got to do it. We've got to put them somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> we do, mate. I think Esther's right. Next one that I'm going to go in is also S tier. They are the one of the newest additions to the game. Absolutely freaking insane. Adam Warlock. 
S tier, one hundred percent all of the way. Not only do they have fucking insane revives in this game, they've got you know they can spread damage throughout the entirety of the team, which is amazing. They can heal everybody in the team at once if you had that soul link on everyone. And their ultimate just revives the entire team. You can pop off your ultimate and do the healing with a soul link to get everybody back to full health instantly, just like that. And that is incredible. Not only do you also have a self revive the first time you get killed, it, it S tier. Everything about Adam Warlock is S tier. <laughs> yeah, I have to agree with you there, mate. Like, I've, I've read all about it. It's in, it's in a few videos of it being played, and obviously you've explained it really, really well there. Like. If you can, any character that can revive a full team, even if it's not at max <laughs> HP, is going to be... It's funny because they've just released Hello and Unite, which is almost exactly the same as Adam Warlock. Well, maybe they were watching, but... <laughs> <laughs> The thing yeah. is, though, with Adam, you don't need, like, on Ho Ho on uh, Pokemon Unite, you have to use Aeos Energy for it. With Adam, you don't have to do shit. You, you just <laughs> press your ultimate ability that's charged, and that's it. You're good to go. Um, yeah, it's, it's tough. I mean, if you are quick, you can get some KOs on the person that's been revived because they are quite weak until Adam manages to hit that healing on them. So I just think, uh, and the damage for Adam's not that bad either. So I think across the board, him and Luna Snow are just the best supports in the game right now. They're quite similar in the playstyle. Single yeah. shot, single shot, uh, damage blast, and uh, the way they play. But yeah, Adam's kit is just so good, mate. You can't really put it anywhere <laughs> else, can you? No. But what else have we got here? Let's go for. I think we'll go Rocket Raccoon, Tom. Mm. I mean, like we like we were saying earlier, the team up with Groot is really good. But I feel like I played loads of Rocket. You probably saw me in the Alpha when we were playing together. I loved Rocket, mate. I was all for it, mobility-wise. That little machine gun popping off. <laughs> but it's just not as good now. It, like we've said, we've been saying, Adam Warlock's here, Luna Snow. They are the S tier picks in our opinion so far. I think mm. it's I think it's dropped down. You know, I think. I'm with you, mate. I think I, 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 the only way I'm with you is that I don't think it's S tier. No. I think it's definitely A though, and I wouldn't be happy with anything under A, just because Rocket probably deals the most amount of damage as a support. Um, it's very much a Moira in that sense. And then also, you get a revive beacon, mate. Like, it's a free revive off the first person that gets KO'd in the team. And I just think that is so pivotal. I think people need to learn to put that revive beacon in a position that isn't easily to kill it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hide, yeah. it hide it behind a wall or something, please, I'm begging you. Um, but, you know, if your tank goes down and gets revived back instantly, that can be game changing. So I think that part of its kit and the fact that he deals quite a lot of damage, it doesn't do as much healing, I don't think, as Adam Warlock and Luna Stone. I think that's probably why he's not S tier in my opinion. Yeah. Um, I also, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm not a big fan of his ultimate. His ultimate just does a shitload of damage boost for his team that can be destroyed. It's not bad. Obviously, you do want to drop damage in a game, but I just think ultimates that surround, uh, you know, that are built around reviving or healing as a support are just more important. Um, so yeah, A tier for me, mate. Yeah, I'd agree with that, mate. I'd agree. I completely forgot about that revive kit. <laughs> but, but yeah, like I was saying, the ultimate, it, it's, it depends on where you place it, I guess. Like all these things, if you are good rocket players placing things in the right location, like that team up with Punisher. I remember that yeah. when Heath just fires, like, you know Punisher's busted. Probably not as busted <laughs> now that, he's, that Venom's in the game, but... <laughs> all right. Yeah. Where are we going next, mate? Uh, well, I mean, the final support we have is Jeff. Now, I haven't played any Jeff. Is I mean, for how adorable he is, he deserves to be S tier. But I think we're probably going to have to follow the same tactic as we did with Four. I've read his abilities, and I'll probably update this tier list chest, uh, tier list chest, tier list chat after I have played some Jeff, and I'll put a video on the on the YouTube channel. But from his abilities and read of them, I think he's going to be a very, very strong support. It would not surprise me if he ends up in S tier. Um, but I'm going to put him into that B tier now, like we have done before, just because he is so new to the game. Um, and I'll kind of update it when we when we have a go on him. Oh, I've got Mantis and Loki here. Uh, oh shit, yeah, <laughs> Mantis and Loki. <laughs> I saw Mantis and I was like, oh no, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. And I was like, oh, we've, got, we've got another one each. So many supports in oh, this game, mate. That's, that's good, to be fair. I mean, Pokemon Unite is slacking on the support front. They are. Um... They are. <laughs> no, Pokemon Unite is slacking in a lot of avenues, mate, honestly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to I mean, do... I'm sorry, Pokemon. Still get me for casting, please. I beg you. <laughs> <laughs> please, please let me do some as well. <laughs> All right. So let's, I'll do Mantis as the next one on my screen. 
not of support I've actually got, had a chance to play but I have heard things about it seen it not seen it being played that much either so for that reason I think it's dropped down a little bit it's still a very good support and you know it's definitely going to be better than some of the other ones but it's just dropped off a bit I feel with the introduction of Warlock with Luna Snow still being so good oh, it's a tough one I think maybe it's going to have to go in A tier I think yeah it's still a good support but it's just mm. fallen off compared to some of the others it could be B tier it's definitely not an S tier no I agree mate I, honestly I am more torn to a B tier yeah. uh, it's just because like you've said there are other supports that have come into this game that are way more valuable and I, I feel like there's other supports that you'd want to go over Mantis quite often yeah. um, she does do a lot of healing she's very much around healing she does some decent CC but outside of that I just the healing's not the level of Luna Snow or Adam Warlock at certain levels which is crazy because Mantis is all about healing mm -hmm. and I just yeah I think you're always going to rather prefer another support rather than Mantis so I'd push it more towards B tier personally yeah it's, it's, it's so close between A and B because there's that really good stun she has as well Yes, that that is can be game changing if you if you stun like a DPS at the right moment, like a magic or something in your face, like a Spider Man. It's, it's, it's in a bit of a resurgence, I've noticed. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it in B tier for now. I think that's fair. Um, yeah, mm. it's close. Well, but... <laughs> the the only support left is Loki, and I am seeing so many Lokis in the game. Um, I don't. I'm torn. I don't think it's S tier. Although it could it could edge into S tier, I think the, the benefit of Loki is you can do a lot of healing, but it's also a, a freaking nuisance in this game, mate. Like the decoys yeah. that Loki uses, also the ultimate where you it's just Echo's ult from uh, Overwatch. You can just copy someone and use their ultimate is can be game changing. Like if we're if we're thinking, oh, Adam Warlock has the best ult in the game, but as Loki, you can copy him and then use that ult. Mm -hmm. Then you've kind of got to think on the same level uh, for Loki. And I think a lot of healing, absolute nuisance. I, it's very, very much between A and S tier for me at the moment. I, I, I don't know where to put it. It'd be very, very high A tier if we put it in the A tier, I think. Yeah, I do agree with you, mate. Like, those copies are so annoying. You just end up shooting one across the map and you think it's, <laughs> it's the real one. Um, I think it's dropped off a little bit, like we've been saying, with Mantis and Rocket. They're not quite as good now because of what we've got, like Luna being so dominant and Adam Warlock joining the game. I think you're, you're correct in saying an A tier there. Like, it's a safe place to put it. Uh, still really good especially mm. with the team ups now that we've got with Thor um, yeah now he's entered the game um, but which, it's just one of those isn't it we have to wait and see how that plays out with a few more games but yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for eight here, I think you're right good shout mate now we are finally on the DPS and DPS is in a very good position in this game yeah but what I'm gonna start with is Black Panther now okay, okay I know Black Panther right. Yeah, so the thing is, right, we don't have a D tier at the moment, somebody in it, but the thing is, Black Panther can either be S tier, depending who's using it, or D tier. Do you know what I mean? It's one of, the, it's one of those characters where if you know how to use it and use it well, you are going to rock up KOs. You're going to get 40 KOs in a game or something like that. The support isn't going to be able to move because Black Panther is constantly on your ass. But the majority of the players I see using it are D tier. I just think it's too hard of a character in the game at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that, mate. There's, there's a few characters like that. But yeah, Black Panther is going to be our first D tier, I believe. It's, it's still needs a bit more love. <laughs> it got some nice buffs as well during the, uh, f during the the between Alpha and Beta. So I'm surprised that it's not being used more or popping off a bit more than it was before. And it's still down here in our opinion. But yeah, like you're saying, it's that skill cap, I believe, with these melee characters that are holding them back. Because if you haven't got a cold bar on it, you probably don't want to see it on your team. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I honestly think this is the thing that will get the most heat on the tier list because people are going to look at it and they have no idea what they're about, they've got the perfect detail. But honestly, like, it can be S tier, we're not saying it can't be, it 100% can be, but it has to have the right player on it. I think if we're looking at the majority of the player base, mm -hmm. it, it has to be D tier. They did some great stuff to it, it can go in and do a lot of damage, it is hard to track. I'll tell you that, if you're playing a tank or a DPS, you can't keep track of Black Panther, it dashes about the place. But I just think the sustainability is not enough for that. Like, he gets KO'd too easily um, outside of that. It's, it's a pretty low health pool for him, mate. So, yeah. I mean, because we see most of the people on Black Panther not doing well, I'm happy with the And that's what this uh, tier list is based towards, isn't it? We're, we're aiming for those sort of <laughs> mid-level to sort of lower-level players. Like, the pro players, yeah, they're not going to come in here and start listening to us about a tier list, but... <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Very true, mate. <laughs> but, yeah, so... 
yeah, we're, we're not saying any mon that we, uh, any any mon <laughs> any uh, character. I've been, mate, I've been thinking so <laughs> hard not to do that this entire tier list. I've nearly said mon so many times. Right. <laughs> the caster curse. The caster's curse. <laughs> All right, that's our stream in Pokemon Unite a few hours ago. Now. Mate, oh. I've also had to stop myself saying Unite every time yeah, I've talked yeah. about an O. <laughs> we've just we've just been creators for Unite for so long. It feels like we should be we should be on that stage by now. I, I, I agree, mate. Okay, <laughs> right, moving on. I'm going to go with the other uh, Melly Melly Fiend, and that's going to be Magic. So I've recently played a bit of Magic, very poorly, so no one wants it on their team. But <laughs> it's another. It's the same thing again. It can either be S tier with whoever's on it, or it can be D tier. It's so so good if you've got a decent player on Itano, right? Because you can like, you can teleport mm. in. You can use your teleports to move side to side. Use those moves when you come out of it. Does so much damage. And obviously you've got that awesome old Dark Child Raider, just like flying around doing all sorts of damage. But for me, simply because who we're aiming this tier list at, I think it's got to go in the B tier for now. It's it's gone up a bit in my estimation since the Alpha. But again, it's very skill level dependent like Black Panther. Yeah, I think I'm with you, mate. I don't think it needs as much skill as Black Panther, but I definitely, yeah, I think you're absolutely right. If you can learn the combos and chain them well, you can do really well in Magic. Um, I do think Magic suffers from the fact that there's only certain maps that she's pretty good at. Um, but I'm with you, mate. I think BT is a pretty suitable place to put Magic. You can definitely cook on Magic, but it's not that common. It's definitely more common than Black Panther, though. Uh, so I'm quite comfortable with BT, then. I quite like the, uh, there's a knock-up ability she has, so you can get a bit of an air yes. combo going. That, that is really, if you can land that, that uh, can be a game changer, just taking someone out of the game, like a squishy in the back line. But yeah, that's, yeah. those are my reasons for B tier. There is, you know, parts of the kit that are really good, but to, if you want to be hitting those high-level combos, you know, you're going to need some hours on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, mate. Now, let's talk about the man, the legend, Iron Man. Um... I think Iron Man in the Alpha was probably B to A tier. It was, it did damage. It was decent in the low elos. It was good. As soon as you got into the higher elos, you just got KO'd every time. You had Star Lord on your ass. You had Hella on your ass. You couldn't survive as Iron Man. Now, after these buffs, I think they made it a lot stronger. It's got better range. It's got a re damage. Um, it, it, it's chest cannon. Does not run out. You can use it. It's got a hundred charge or something, but the reload time is less than a second or some bullshit. So like, even if you run out of it, it just it's reloaded instantly. I think I, I think Iron Man from bronze to gold is an S tier attacker. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, I've picked up a bit of Iron Man since the uh, since the. I, I would disagree, but I think Iron Man in the in the alpha was way lower down. I think it was really poor in the alpha. Mm. Um, I've probably C or D tier, but no, I completely agree with you. It, the after these buffs is insane. Um, could easily be in, I'd say a high A tier. Um, yeah, you think? I think I think high A tier, if you disagree then. But I think this still needs a little bit more, but. Yeah, no, it's fair, mate. I think it does, the maneuverability of it does lack because like you have the range characters like Hella that are so easy to KO it. But you know, I do think it does need that counterplay. So I think that is probably the good position that it's in. I wouldn't tweak much of Iron Man now. I don't think. Maybe possibly the charge beam in the in the chest a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, I think mean, all right. High AT is good, mate. I like that. Yeah, I was watching your stream the other day and I saw you uh, getting quite quite upset about that chest cannon, mate. <laughs> I was so annoying, man. I was coming. It was me as an Iron Man coming up against an Iron Man that was gamma charged from the Hulk. He, he just wouldn't <laughs> stop using his chest beam. We're both chest beaming each other, but he's doing more fucking damage. I'm like, this is stupid, bro. Leave me alone, bro. But, it's not fair. <laughs> and the thing is, we had a Venom and we had a Penny Parker, so nobody's gonna want to swap off that to go into the Hulk to give me a damage buff. Do you know what I mean? No, You're not no, gonna no. pick a worse tank uh, in that battle. So, oh, yeah, I, I lost. I lost uh, my gears a little bit on that one. Chat. <laughs> don't blame you, man. Don't blame me. But yeah, like I guess our S tier is like characters that you will always want in your team. Like are never going to be bad. Yeah. So soon we're going to have to get one of these DPS in there, and it's really tough to pick one now, mate. Honestly. <laughs> I I think out of the ones that are left, there's two, probably two that are S tier. The first one I'm going to say is Hella. Yeah. I they so they apparently nerfed Hella. Um, I don't think they did much. I don't. It doesn't feel any different, mate. Hella headshot damage is insane. The damage you can drop is crazy. You are killing squishies in like two hits or something ridiculous like that. If you, if you get headshots, easy. Um, you've got to get them. Don't get me wrong, but 
it's still it's no different from the alpha it's still very strong um i don't think i think if you have a ranged attacker that you want to pick up hell is the go-to yeah I, I actually agree with you there mate thinking about it more i was looking at those st uh, those attackers that are left and i was like which one can i put there but yeah now i see hella <laughs> sat there on the end honestly mate what we have to mention as well that hole is just so good the amount of times yeah. i've been blown up like a a heller in the air and I don't even notice all of a sudden I'm blown up one shot it's like that that ult I think is, it's a bit over tuned still but <laughs> yeah that is going in the S tier yeah let's do it let's do it the thing is with the ult as well though right you, we were thinking about like ults where you're like oh my god I don't want to deal with that as soon as you hear heller go hell unleashed you're like shit <laughs> run we need to we need, we need to disperse don't group up what the fuck is happening where is it <laughs> and yeah cover. that for me symbolises S tier <laughs> get some cover right. yeah, exa exactly mate <laughs> I, I guess the other one you may be talking about, Scarlet Witch. Still? Mm, yeah. I, yeah. Um, I, well, I, I, no. So, not for Estia. And the only reason I say not for Estia is that the ult is so easy to stop, mate. Mm -hmm. the, 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 like, you really have to be a ninja when you start that ult and then come out and get the explosion at the right time. Mm -hmm. I just think the charge up time for the ult is too long. But if it was any shorter... Yeah. It would be the most broken ult in the game. Um, I think it's the health pool because it is an attacker. You know, it is in that role of uh, you know doing damage. So it does, I think it's on like two hundred or two hundred and fifty health, but it's two hits from Hella, for example, and it's dead. And then you've just wasted the most important ult in the game in that sense. Um, I think it's very rare that you manage to pull that ult off. Basically, I think everyone sussed it out since the alpha, and they we thought, oh my god, this is so broken. Like, what? <laughs> why have they released something like this? But. If you're not full HP, you are going to be taken out these days by a by a ranged DPS. Um, Pretty much, mate. Yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah. For that reason, I guess we're going A tier for that attacker. Yeah, I would definitely say A tier. I don't still think it's really any less because yeah, it's still very very good. It's really good at taking on Iron Man and things like that because you use your B move to go high in the sky, and then you are slowly moving down. But you've got hits. You've got like literally hits going. Like you can't miss them with that move. Yeah. It's very much Moira uh, with the damage move. So. Everything about it screams S tier, but the ult brings it down uh, just because it has been kind of sussed out at the moment. So, yeah, massively high A tier for me, mate. Yeah, it's just not the greatest range either, has it? Like, on, that, on, the no. basic, on the basic attack. That was, I guess, my reasoning in the alpha for not putting it in S tier. Like, the ult is insane, but yeah, I have to full HP to be in there. Yeah, so. Let's talk about some of those really struggling in the alpha in Spider. I think that has gone up a fair few tiers. Um, yeah, the, I've had a Spider-Man in my face a couple of times, and even the ranged webs now are doing some serious damage, mate. Honestly, so uh, the mobility as well—you can jump in, kick you in the face, and just be gone. <laughs> so yeah, it's, I haven't actually had a chance to play it myself. I don't know about yourself, but it's definitely a little bit. It's risen a few tiers, so I'll let you say I'll let you uh, take over, mate, because I haven't actually played it. So it'd be good to hear your uh, take on this one. I think it suffers from Black Panther Syndrome in a sense that if you are a very good Spider-Man, it is S tier. Mm -hmm. um, I, I do think it's difficult to use, but I think the buffs that they've done to it are fantastic. I think they've really assisted Spider-Man in being a more vital attacker. It can, like, with its combos, it can take out squishies instantly, very easily. When it's trying to target supports, when it's trying to target the damage dealers, it, it, it comes into its own. But it, it still can be caught out and it can still be tough to use it so i don't think it's s tier um i'm thinking more a tier with the changes it's had i think it's definitely in a very very better position than it was in the alpha mate okay we'll go with that then mate now you've played on it i only sort of played against it so i, I feel the, the the pain of the damage just <laughs> kicking me <laughs> kicking me down <laughs> but all right uh i mean i'm gonna go with someone i think is now lower down on the tier list and that is no more I mean, it's definitely a bit better now since the alpha, but the the same problem from what I discussed in the tier list for the alpha, I think is old. It's just it's like it does a bit summit nothing. Like it lands a big thing in an area, but it doesn't seem to hit anybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, mate. It's a big fucking whale. How does it miss people? <laughs> <laughs> decent character i picked it up i played on it in the alpha i haven't had a chance yet in the beta but yeah for that's for that reason i've seen the old popping off in some games and it just seems still like the hitbox or something is just not quite right on it i don't know it's, it, maybe it's supposed to be that way you're only supposed to be caught by the mouth or something <laughs> I just don't well know, 
it's almost like you you have to hit like the smack bang in the center for it to get a one hit KO, basically. Yeah. Like if you're outside of that center, it just does damage. It's the thing is, it's a fucking fun ult, mate. It's a really it's fun cool. ult to throw into the game. Yeah. But I'm right with you, it just doesn't seem to do enough. Um they did make a really great change to the bubble that he becomes. Like, he can go into that bubble. Now you can move that bubble, though it is very slow. Um, so I think that is a fantastic change to him. But it just seems like the damage isn't there for Namor, for me, personally. It's, it's not bad, but it's definitely not the level of Iron Man. It's not the level of Scarlet Witch, or definitely not Hella, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go C tier, then, for this one. Yeah? Make it a... Start rounding this out a little bit, because I can't see anyone else that's going to be down there, in my opinion, of who we've got left here. Yeah, I'm with you, mate. I do think the wall does really struggle in the DPS section at the moment. I think C is is valid. Um, now, one person I'm going to talk about next is Star Lord. They made a, a huge change to Star Lord, which damaged him in position of tier list, but is still absolutely incredible to play. So, what used to happen is when you press the button where he does the bat flips, that used to reload your gun. Um, they don't do that anymore, which is crazy. So you can't really chain. The, care, that, like, the guns and the KOs and the damage like you used to be able to. Now, having said that, it is still Star-Lord. <laughs> Star-Lord is still really strong in the game. So I wouldn't put him A tier, although his ultimate is just amazing. It can really wipe out people. Um, you can do a lot with Star-Lord. So I'm thinking very high A tier for me. Yeah. Okay, mate. I agree with that. Like, what I've really seen of Star-Lord, it, it's been popping off with, the, with that ultimate still. Um, still a danger in any match I feel like still picked quite regularly from the matches I've been playing in um, yeah there can't really be any less than that I think it was a solid ass easy in the alpha yes but now it's definitely dropped down to the AT I would agree with you there all right what about Punisher then <sighs> mate, walk I, us through it mate I've got some games <laughs> on Punisher you know this um yeah still feels really strong um, you could just set up that turret and you're doing so much damage from range if you if you pick the right place for that turret and you've got a decent team around you in the opponent's faces before you know you've just been completely shredded by that that's just one of the things you've seen there for close range when you're really for mid range and like, it's just I didn't really seem to do too much to it like, I think that was one of the best performing DPS in in the alpha and they haven't really changed it at all um mm. I think now you've got characters like Venom that can get in your face, like that might have made a difference, and Penny Parker even with that ult, which causing a lot of disruption. Oh, still right up there for me, mate. It's a struggle between like low S, high A for me. Yeah, I'm with you, mate. The thing is, the ultimate is fucking amazing on Punisher. Yeah. Um, you know, you say about the Venom being in your face, it's scary, but if you pop your ult at the right time, you can just do so yeah. much damage to him. Uh, yeah, I, I think Punisher's the last tier for me, mate. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I wouldn't say it's a high S tier anymore, but because of yeah, because of what we've had added to the game now, again it would be a case of uh, games, games on Marvel Rivals getting. But our, our tier list may look completely different by the end of the week, and it would probably be cool to do a second one. But hopefully, we can find out time and a schedule for that. But only one character left, me. What, what are you saying? I struggle with this because I think Storm's design in this game is so fucking awesome and the ult is just next level. Uh, it's so much fun to use the ult, but Storm still struggles. Um, it, it can really still struggle. Don't get me wrong, you can you can cook with it a little bit more than you could previously, but I just think if you're going to play Storm, why not play Iron Man? You know, it, out of the two flying characters with the changes that happened, I still think Iron Man is superior. I think Storm's ult is probably better than Iron Man's. Um, but yeah, for me, I think Storm's currently in the B tier at the moment. I think they're struggling as a DPS a bit, but you can support your team quite well with the move boost, uh, the movement boost, and the attack boost and stuff as well. Yeah, I would agree, mate. I've, I've had a couple of games on Storm. Doesn't feel like as overwhelming as something like Punisher, something like Hera, something like. Iron Man, Scarlet Witch, it's just its not quite there yet, even with uh, the changes for the beta. Yeah, but I think after that, we've done a pretty good job there. I think Yeah. they might disagree with us, the community, but <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think we've done all right. Um, we might, I think we have, mate. Our S tier might be a little bit stacked, but it's very difficult to change too much there, I think. I, the thing is, though, I look at that S tier, and I think if you take that comp, into a game 
you very much have a chance of winning that game um out yeah. of all of them you know what i mean you've got the two best tanks in the game you've got the two best dps in the game at the moment and the two best supports in the game i think with that comp you shouldn't be really losing that many games yeah i do agree with that mate the only thing you're missing there is a flyer like an iron yeah. man or a scarlet witch or a but you, you you've got a hella to deal with any that you come up against like That's if that true. hella targets the iron man that, that you're up against you're, you're laughing mate well we've just made a comp for, uh, for the beta so. <laughs> Yeah, I tell you what, chat, we'll try this comp out in the beta and we'll let you know if it works. <laughs> Let's just find six players first. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the, uh, the the three of them are already on right now, mate. I think they're asking for us to join them, so... Oh, um, yeah, man, so we'll go do that. I, I think all in all, this is a solid tier list to start from. We've played plenty of games with the beta. Really solid tier list. We'll come back next weekend and update it for you, chat, um, after playing some more games. But the ST is decent, the AT is decent. As I look through the CMD tier, I kind of, I, I still agree with it looking back now. I, I think they're in a really good position here. Let us know in the comments though what you think. Um, what about you teams, any last words? No, nothing for me, mate. I think we've done a great job there. Yeah, like Tano said, give us a shout in the comments down below if you uh, disagree with us, if you agree with us, you think we've done a good job. Uh, yeah, we'd really appreciate any feedback on this tier list and uh, yeah, we'll be back next weekend to uh, update with our, with our prowess in the beta. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you then, chat. Have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. See you later.